Ever wondered why, despite your best efforts, you are not seeing the best results you want? The answer may lie in the nutrition mistakes you are unknowingly making every single day. Nutrition can be confusing with all the conflicting advice out there. Hi, my name is Noor and I'm a sports coach living in Belgium and today I will give you the six nutrition mistakes you are making and how to correct it. And if you correct it, you will have top 1% body. Number one, following the eating times. I don't know what to name the chapter, but we all have heard it, right? You have to eat breakfast at seven or eight, lunch at 12 or one o'clock and dinner at seven or eight o'clock and some snacks in between if you need it. First, why did we learn to eat a time that's predefined that's the first mistake you are making you have to eat when you are hungry not following the strict time zones that we learned when we were kids if you are not hungry in the morning don't need to eat it skip it who said you have to eat it your mom but you say no i have calorie intake i have to respect or protein goal i have to hit but forcing yourself to eat is a bigger mistake in my eyes you can hit your protein goal with two meals by prioritizing heavy protein meals. So forget the time zones, the time constraints, eat when you are hungry, don't eat when you are not hungry. Number two, too much choice. You don't know what to eat because you have too much to choose from. I think everyone had this dilemma once in their lifetime and it's exasperated because of the processed food we have in our disposal. They are convenient, time savers. We just have to pour milk in our cereal and it's ready. But they are often backed with unhealthy additives sugars and unhealthy fats making whole unprocessed foods the foundation of your diet is a vital step towards better nutrition so don't procrastinate to go to the groceries and buy quality foods even if it's a little bit expensive than others your body and health is the only one you will have so you have to invest the time and money needed to function 100 percent every time so how can you put this in place that's where the mistake of not preparing your meals in advance comes in so neglecting meal preparation is number three i get it you don't want to prepare a week of food ahead you don't need it but all i'm saying is cook in the morning what you want to eat all day so you don't have to cook all the time you don't have to order takeout or try to eat processed foods all the time or it's not necessary to meal prep a week that's too much but you can meal prep two days three days that's all right too so there will be two cooking sessions the whole week it will save you time money and it's healthy the most important one cook in the morning prepare the meal you will take out if you are in school university if you go to work taking your superware so you don't have to buy sandwich for 15 dollars and it will not hit your protein goal cooking is so underrated because you eat what you made with your hands and one of the best nutritional advice i heard is cook something for yourself doesn't have to be fancy doesn't have to be too complicated you can hit a pan put a five six eggs and you have a bad protein in less than five minutes you have to buy the eggs first huh <laughs> you have to go to groceries take all the things you need write it down like i do because i forget a lot and come and cook two three days in advance easy something simple as those can help you transform eating processed food to healthy ones in no time the fourth mistake you are making is you don't look the portion size of your meal and finishing it even if you are full oh my days everybody makes this mistake and i'm still doing it if you take a plate to eat and you are full after two halves you have to finish the plate we all heard that but it's not true you don't have to finish if you are full done throw it i'm kidding don't throw the food you can put it in a tupperware and put it in the fridge you can eat later it's easy to overeat when we don't pay attention to portion size you don't have to eat a plate of two persons you have to know what stage are you in are you in a calorie surplus calorie deficit or are you just maintaining if you don't know what i'm talking about calorie surplus is when you are eating a surplus of your calorie intake so let's make it simple you have to eat 2000 calories you eat 2300 you are 300 of surplus if you are eating calorie deficit take the same you have to eat 2000 calories you are eating 1,700, you are 300 calorie deficit. If you are maintaining, you have to eat 2,000 calories, you are eating 2,000, you are maintaining. Easy. For that, you have to know the protein goals. That's too complicated. There are applications that can help you. My fitness pal, they are not sponsoring, but it's the application that I use. You put everything you and eat. And it will tell you how many calories are the there. The proteins, the fats, all of that. If you don't want. Eat when you are hungry. Stop when you are full. And eat protein packed meals. That's it too easy you don't have to know all these calorie deficit calorie surplus and all that uh, fitness stuff listen to your body's hunger cues and avoid mindless eating so mindless eating or mindless snacking in front of screens 
it's the worst thing you can do you will not know what you ate watching something interesting if you are watching a comedy show youtube me you don't know what you ate <laughs> because when we scroll or watch tv we are not concentrating on the foods we are eating so we have to be mindful of the food that we are eating taking a moment because eating is to refill us but it's to enjoy the moment you are healthy you can eat there are some people that are not able to eat that are in hospital they are force feeding them through tubes so you have to be grateful that you can eat don't watch tv when you are eating don't watch telephone if you are watching this video right now and eating put it aside i mean the food you can watch the video <laughs> every time you eat don't do something else one thing interesting that you can do is eat with other people because when you are conversing with other people and eating at the same time it's good for your health too if i give you one advice is to eat with other people so you will not overeat you will not eat all the time the sixth mistake is eating as an escape or as an emotional support that is a catastrophe if you have a link between your eating and an emotional support then it will be hard to get rid of your eating bad habits i'm not a psychiatrist but if you have emotional link with food see a therapist and find solutions together because if you don't you are bound to make the same mistake again and again i understand the connection between your eating and emotional support didn't came out of hand our parents did a great job in raising us and giving us food as a reward i remember in fifth grade you did a great job in school and your parents were like oh my kid did a great job so we have to eat ice cream other times you are having a bad day and your parents were like oh my kid is not having the best of time let's have ice cream and cheer you up and you have this connection with food like when you are upset you have to eat ice cream when you win or did a great job you have to have ice cream champagne and we have this connection with food that's like toxic in a way i'm not blaming parents and i'm not saying you don't have to eat ice cream again but the problem is the connection you have with this and if you have this problem first you have to identify it so if you don't identify you will not know remember that it's okay to make these mistakes once in a while the important thing is to learn from them and make positive change you can eat once in a while an ice cream you can go out. you can order a takeout once in a while you can enjoy yourself once in a while the problem is doing it again and again will hinder your progress in the gym or in your health overall i hope this video has been eye-opening and provided you with valuable insights into the worst nutrition mistakes to avoid if you want to know the six mistakes every beginner makes when going to the gym you can watch this video and i'll see you next week bye bye